And welcome back to CTF Walkthroughs. I'm your host, Callie Surfer, and today we have a new challenge CTF from TryHackMe, and the title is Dodge. In this box, we'll be enumerating a Linux host and then taking some measures to evade the firewall that's protecting the server. And we'll find our way into the command line and then escalate our privs up to root. So without further ado, let's get on into it. Let's get started. So over here I have my VPN and we did two Nmap scans with attack F for the fast scan, three open ports with services running SSH, HTTP, and then HTTPS on 443. Then we followed up with a script scan using um, TAC P for just those ports and then TAC SC for script scan, TAC A for run all of the different scan types, um, and then TAC O N for output normal, and we saved it into a file. Here we see we're running OpenSSH 8.2 P1 on Ubuntu, port 80 is forbidden, 403 error, and then we have a SSL HTTPS service running here on 443. Now we get to the interesting part here. Under SSL certificate, we see the name is uh, dodge.thm, and then we see alternative names. So these are subdomains here. We want to enter these into our Etsy host file and then see if we can open any of those websites because the original site I don't think opens for us. Let's make a new tab here, clear out that junk. And let's do a sudo etsy hosts. Actually, cancel that. We want to do a sudo vim etsy hosts. We'll use vim to edit. And we're in here now. Got a bunch of other labs going. Let's add a comment here. Try hack me labs. And we'll put in those subdomains that I brought over. Oh, looks like they didn't copy correctly. Let's go back here and grab those. Oh yeah, we need to finish adding them to our Etsy hosts file. So let me copy that again. Go over here. So we can call this nmap uh, VPN tab. Oh yeah, here's our Etsy hosts. And we'll put that IP in here. And we got dodge. I think you just do a space between each one. www dodge blog dot dodge dev dodge touch me not dodge netops tac dev dot dodge and ball dot dodge dot thm let's copy those again and we'll exit with escape colon wq for write and quit and now over here let's see if we can navigate whoops let's cut that out Okay, now we'll see if we can navigate to each of these. Ah, uh, put the HTTP. Okay, that one doesn't work. Let's try adding the dub dub dub. Nothing, okay. Blog. Nothing. What about dev dev doesn't work touch me not touch me not dot dodge uh, netops tac dev forbidden well, that's a different error isn't it let's try the https on that one Ah, here we go. We've got something. 
So we can view the certificate here. And this is another way to grab subdomains. Here we've got the same list. Um, this is on which one? It's NetOps Dev. Accept the risk and continue. Then we've got ball.dodge, right? And I guess I should try all HTTP and HTTPS addresses. Here we get a blank page. Looking at the source code, there's one link to a style one, and there's a firewall.js. That sounds interesting. And it's fetching a file here, a PHP file, and that's of interest to us. So let's go in um, and see if we can access that. Ooh, and here we have something very interesting, update firewall rules. And there's a sudo command parameter. Let's say sudo, oh, and we can do ufw for update firewall. Uh, and we can allow or block or deny some ports. So let's see if we can open up the FTP. Maybe we can find some interesting files here. Let's do sudo um, sudo ufw allow 21 and still says deny maybe if we put ftp it'll work oh okay it, it changed this one right here let's try hmm Maybe that's enough to get us in. Let's try enumerating from over here. We'll use FTP. And then I guess we just use our IP right here. And command not found. Oh, I guess this box doesn't have, my parrot attack box doesn't have the FTP. Let's try LFTP sudo apt install ftp we'll let that install for a moment okay so now that we have our ftp installed let's go ahead in and we'll see if we can access it anonymously there's our ip anonymous is our name anonymous is our password and we'll do an ls tech la see if we can view all files hidden and non-hidden regular and hidden and it seems to be stalling there so let's do exit let's try going back in one more time anonymous and password anonymous and let's this time specify because it hung on passive modes so we'll do passive off lsla and we see a bunch of things here. There is a user.txt. Let's see if we can get that. Failed to open file, that's okay. Let's go into the .ssh directory here. We know it's a directory because of the D. So we'll do a cd.ssh and dir, and we have some keys. So this will probably be our, our route into the box for our foothold. Let's try to do get star to get all those files. Failed to open, get id underscore rsa. Failed to open, hmm. Get, what else is there? Authorized keys. Let's copy and paste that one. And now it transferred, okay. Well, that's good, we got at least one file. See if we can get the other ones though. ID RSA. Oh, that file. Yeah, it, it's it's a file with with data. Get ID RSA failed. Okay, well let's view the file that we did get. See if it's here. Authorize keys. Okay, so we'll cat that one out. And now we have a username and a host name thm tac lamp let's add that to our etsy hosts file 
So sudo vim etsy hosts thm tac lamp. Let's see my password. And then we want to get down here. And we can add that as another subdomain here. THM TAC LAMP. I don't know why it's called LAMP, but we can try now using this file, authorized keys, to actually uh, use it as an SSH key and go in. Um, actually, this is the file that sits on the host. I think we still need that ID RSA file. Let's see if we can get that one more time. Nope. LS, LS, LA, authorized keys. How about the backup? I don't know if we tried getting that yet. Get, and we got it. Okay, cool. So that's going to be the one that we actually use. Let's cat it. Yeah, that's our private file. This is the one we use with the tack i command to SSH our way into port 22. First, we have to change the permissions though, change it to 600 permissions so it's more restrictive. And that's authorized keys backup, right? Authorized, actually it was id underscore rsa underscore backup. Now we should be able to do it with the command SSH tack i id underscore rsa underscore backup and then we'll be challenger at uh, thm tac lamp yes and we should be in now in just a moment and we are cool so who am i we're challenger we can start to enumerate now let's check our let's see we can't do sudo tac l can we if we don't know our password, hmm. I don't think we know our password. Let's see, maybe in our bash history there's something. Let's see, are we in our home? LSLA, ah, uh, we can grab that user flag now too. Let's see bash history there is a file is there also a a key here not seen it so let's look at some of these files that we can actually read we'll try checking a list we want to go back into that api folder and we'll try catting out um let's try for the config file and there's a database called Dodgy and a user named root. So we might be able to get into the database and look around. Let's cut out the login.php. Anything in there? Oh, there is something here. There's a username and a password. Gabriella. Okay, so there's going to be a login portal somewhere. Let's see what else we can look at. Uh, we can try the index. Nothing there. Uh, posts, how about that one? Oh, and here's something of interest. This looks to be encoded text here. It may give us a username password combination. Let's see if we take that over to our command line and just we'll just use an echo command echo that and we'll pipe it into a base 64 tac d for dec uh, decrypt and here we see some plain text so we have content is cobra that's our username and this must be his password here let's see if we can use a simple su to switch users go over to cobra whoops actually i that was super user. Let's do su cobra, and then we'll paste in the password. And now we're cobra, so we successfully 
switch users. We know our password, so we can do a sudo tac l. And we'll just paste in, oh, actually, don't they don't need the password again. Um, we do have special privileges on the apt binary. Let's go over to GTFO bins now. And we'll look up that apt binary. They don't need the full path here. Apt and a couple of options. There's a sudo and there's a shell. Let's try this one first. And it's trying to connect. It looks like it's not connecting. So this may not be a viable option. How about sudo? We do want to get persistence with sudo. So three options here. The change log didn't work. Maybe this one will work here. Let's see if we can cancel out. Yep, good, we didn't lose our shell. Let's put these three commands in, see if we can get a persisting sudo. Okay, and the final command here. Oh, and again, it's trying to install something but it's failing, so we'll cancel that out. And let's try this last one here. Maybe this one-liner will do the trick. Oh, and it did. So who am I? We're root, let's move into the root folder and we can cat out the root.txt now. So that brings us to the end of this box. Thank you for checking it out. And you can see that we evaded the firewall by discovering a portal and we added a firewall rule to open up the FTP port, which led us to information disclosure that we use to leverage our way in the SSH service. And then we switched users and discovered an encrypted um, password for the user Cobra, switched over to him, discovered a special permissions on a binary that we leveraged to escalate up to the root user so that we have complete control over our target. So that's it for today. Thanks for checking it out and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more full-length CTF walkthroughs. So until next time, see ya.